November 14, 2101. We're in orbit around the moon. We've been here for a couple weeks. Most of the stuff is loaded and ready to go. We're just waiting for the rocket boosters to be attached by the robots. Um, that should take a couple of days, and then we'll be on our way to Mars. November 17th, 2101. This is our last orbit around the moon before the launch. The rocket boosters are attached, everything's fine and ready to go. This might be the last time I see the Earth. Um, we'll be in space for a few months, and then when we get to Mars, if the settlement works out, that's just where I'm going to be. November 19th, 2101. The launch was a lot quieter than I expected it to be. Uh, I was kind of expecting the big boom kind of rockets that you see in the Apollo footage, but I guess you don't need that much power to get going when you're in orbit around the moon in space. You just need a little push. November 21st, 2101. I think the doctors are bored. Um, I don't think they have a lot to do. They're supposed to be just training us on the EMS machines, uh, the electrical muscle stimulation machines, which we need because the gravity is low. We have some gravity because it's a ring-shaped ship, but we need some help because we're going to be building stuff the day we get to Mars. Um, but they're really being kind of overprotective, the doctors. Uh, and if this keeps up, by the end of this mission, I'm going to be healthier than I've ever been. There's a guy named Michaels who's keeping himself busy by painting. There's not really a lot to do on the ship until we get there, so he's brought on a few pieces of paper and some paint. He wasn't allowed much because of the weight limits. Um, so he's found himself a window. Really, it's, it's a screen that shows what we can see in front of the ship. Um, and he's painting and painting and painting on top of that one or two pieces of paper he's got. Um, and seeing how far he can stretch him. Uh, he's got a camera, so he's going to see what he gets by the end of it. November 28th, 2101. We've drifted a little bit off course, just slightly, I think. Um, apparently one side of the ship was collecting more solar wind than the other side of the ship, so they had to make some adjustments. I, Everybody on the ship really knows what they're doing, so I'm not worried. I, I think that's one of the reasons they picked me for this mission, because I don't worry about anything until I've got something to worry about. Um, I think that's the reason they picked a lot of us for this mission. Um, that and, and most of us really didn't leave a lot behind, or have a lot to leave behind. December 1st, 2101. We've switched over to the Martian calendar. Um, it's not a lot different. Uh, it's just the day is like 45 minutes longer, 40 minutes longer, something like that. Um, we still divide the day into 24 hours, so it's there's a little bit of like jet lag involved, but really it's fine. December 16th, 2101. It was my birthday today. Um, and the, uh, the galley managed to put together, uh, a cake, something that looked like a cake for me. I was pretty impressed. Um, birthdays are kind of becoming really important on this ship. Uh, there's 32 people on board, so we've actually had quite a few so far. I can't remember the last time someone had a cake for my birthday. December 25th, 2101. We managed to put together a Christmas dinner. I mean, we didn't call it a Christmas dinner because there's people from all over the earth on this ship, but we put together a feast with all the best stuff we could find from the food bags and the uh, food tubes and the, and the galley managed to put some stuff together. We put a pretty good feast together. Dinner in general is real important. Um, somehow, all of us on the ship managed to uh, decide to get together at the same time in the same room every day. Um, 
Even if nobody, even if you don't want to talk, you you make sure you're in that room for that time. We're getting footage from the uh, colony that the drones and the robots are building for us. Um, the hydroponics garden, which was sent months ago, um, uh, the video feeds have been set up, so we're seeing lots and lots of stuff from there. Lots of lettuce. I don't know why they want to do lettuce, but lots and lots of lettuce is growing. Maybe that's the easiest thing to start with. Um, we also have vintage, video footage from uh, the canisters, which are there, and the drones, and uh, it's actually a nice, uh, you know, four degrees below zero on Mars at the equator right now. Well, this is the last entry before we have to shut the computers down because uh, we're getting we're getting ready to land. We're all at our stations. Um, the computers are being diverted for everything we need. So the next time you hear from me, um, it'll be on Mars, where we live now. <laughs>